Hi, yoga friends. Um, today we have a really exciting yoga sequence. We are going to go on a deep sea treasure hunt. This was suggested by my oldest son, Armando, and he is here. He's um, off to the side. You might get to see him a little bit, um, but uh, sometimes he doesn't like to be as much on the video. And also my husband, Armando, and Victoria will be over here doing probably running around and doing a few movements with us, but having fun nonetheless. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're actually gonna start in a standing position. And um, we are going to, I'm gonna move the camera back just a little bit so that you can still see me. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to start in a standing position, and we are going to uh, put on our scuba gear because we need to, we are going to get on a submarine ship, and we need to swim to it because it's already down below the sea. So we're going to put on our scuba gear. Um, so you guys can stay standing. I'm just going to come down to show you all. Um, so we're going to put on our scuba gear, and um, first we need to put on our wetsuit. So um, I'm going to show you standing up. You're going to pull one leg into your sweats, into your wetsuit. So you're going to pull it on. And it's really like tight. So you have to like really pull it on tight. And then you got to really pull it on up your body. You got to pull it on your arms really tight. Yeah. We want our, we want our, our wetsuit to be really tight. And then we're going to zip it up. So starting at your belly button, you're going to zip it up as you breathe in. So zipping up, you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, you can come back down. Let's do that a few more times. Breathe in as you zip up. And breathe out as you zip down. Breathe in, zip up. And breathe out, zip down. Nice. Job. All right, next we have to put on our air tank. So we might need to help our family members put on our air tank. So we are going to shrug our air tank over, and then we might go and help another family member shrug their air tank on. And then we might go over and help another one shrug theirs on. You want your air tank on, Tori? All right, so we want to make sure we're shrugging it and kind of getting comfortable with our air tank being on our back. All right. All right. The next thing we want to do is put on our mask. So we're going to put on our mask on our face. And when we breathe into our scuba tank, it sounds like this. We take a big breath in. And then as we breathe out, we make this sound. It's almost like we're closing off the back of our throat with our tongue a little bit so that the air flows over our tongue. So we breathe in and out. Some people call this the Darth Vader breath too. Breathe in and out. A few more times. Breathe in and out. Last one, breathe in, and out. All right, nice job. I'm just trying to adjust this one last time, just so that, there we go. You can see me. Hi. Hi. All right, that's much better. All right, so. We have our scuba gear on, we have our mask on. We want to dive down into the ocean to get to our submarine. So we're going to make sure we have enough room behind us. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in and reach up so that we can dive down. And then we're gonna step our feet back as we swim forward, we'll be in plank pose. And we're gonna lower down to our belly and we're gonna swim. And then we're gonna come back up into downward dog and we're gonna hop to the front 
and we're going to swim up. And then we're going to dive back down. Step back, swim forward into plank pose, and come all the way down to your belly, swimming forward. And then pushing back up, downward facing dog as we swim up, hopping up to the top, swimming up. One more time, we're gonna dive back down, stepping back as we swim forward in our plank pose, going all the way down to our bellies, swimming forward. We're almost to the sub, so we're gonna push back up into downward facing dog, hop to the top of the mat, swim up to the submarine, and we are there. All right, now there's a big ladder to get into the sub, so we're gonna have to climb up the ladder to get into the sub. So see if you can do this opposite arm, opposite leg. So climbing, with raising your opposite arm and your opposite leg up like you're climbing a ladder, up to the top of this. Climbing <clears throat> up to the top. All right, and then, and then, Toy Watch, and then we're going to climb, we have to climb back down into the sub. So we're gonna climb back down into the sub to a low squat, and we're finally in our submarine. All right, so once we get into our submarine, we can stand up and we can kind of walk around, walk around and look at what's in the sub, kind of getting the lay of the land and figuring out what's, what this the inside of the sub, maybe telling your family what you, the inside of your sub looks like what kind of things you see inside of your submarine. <laughs> all right, and then we are going to find our seats, all right? So you're going to come into your chair pose. So you're going to have your feet real solid on the ground. And you're just gonna sit back like you're sitting in a chair, not all the way down, just um, part of the way down. And then um, we want to look outside and see what we can see. So you're gonna take your right elbow and you're gonna twist it over to the outside of your left leg, twisting over to the left side, looking outside the window and noticing what you see on the outside of the window. What kind of sea creatures, AJ, what kind of sea creatures do you see on the outside of your window? Fish. Fish, you see some fish. Nice, I see an octopus. Mondo, what do you see? A shark. Ooh, a shark. Nice. All right. Let's take a deep breath in, come back up. And then we're going to switch sides because we want to look to the other side of our ship. So we're going to squat back down. And then we're going to twist to the other side, our left elbow coming to the outside of our right knee, looking to the other side. What do we see on the other side? Armando, or AJ, what do you see on the other side? Crab. A crab. Nice. Mondo, what do you see? A kraken. A kraken, woo, nice. I see another little baby scuba diving. <laughs> All right, so coming back up. So there's a treasure buried somewhere out here in the deep sea. And there's other people who want the treasure. So we're getting boarded right now by a sea pirate, which we have to make sure we don't get captured by the sea pirate. So what we're going to do is one person in your family is going to be the sea pirate and they have to hop around on one leg and try to tag the other people who are doing, who are going to be uh, standing like this. All right, so, you're gonna, so the people who are in airplane mode are going to be standing there and then the sea, um, the sea pirate is going to hop around and try to tag them. So you two be an airplane and I'll hop around, I'll start, I'll hop around as the sea pirate and try to tag you. And then whoever was tagged first becomes the sea pirate. 
So you have to hop around on one leg and try to tag us. Yep, Tori's gonna be a sea pirate too. All right, now daddy's, Armando's a sea pirate. Hop around. All right, and then we're gonna switch legs, whatever leg you weren't hopping around on when you were the sea pirate. So just kind of play around a little bit. Victoria, you're gonna be the sea pirate now. Play around a little bit for a few moments. Tagging people in your family as a sea pirate. All right, making sure you switch legs. All right, come on, you have to come get us, AJ. <laughs> you guys might have more room than we do, so you might be able to hop a lot. All right, so your turn. All right, nice job. Okay, so we are shooing that sea pirate off of our ship. We um, have said he is not welcome on our ship. We need to continue on our journey. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go for a little adventure looking for this treasure hunt or this treasure box in, this, in the ocean. But again, we're going to have to dive down to get to it. So again, we are going to um, make sure we have enough room behind us and breathe in, bringing our arms up, and then we're going to dive back down. Stepping back again into plank, swimming forward, lowering down to your belly, swimming forward, and then pushing back up into downward facing dog as we dive, as we swim up. And we're going to do that one more time, diving down, stepping back into plank as we swim forward, lowering down to our belly. Swimming forward. And we're at, instead of coming back up this time, we're just gonna push back onto our bottom. So our bottoms are on our ankles. And we are now currently near the treasure, but there's all kinds of creatures we have to go through in order to get to the treasure. And the first one is an octopus, or as my husband says, Armando said, also called a kraken which is a big giant sea monster octopus. So we're gonna be big giant sea monster octopuses. So you're gonna uh, balance on your bottom and you're gonna lift your legs up off the ground. And if you can, you're gonna lift your arms up off the ground and we're gonna swim like octopus. So you're gonna stretch your arms out and legs out and then you're gonna crunch them back in like an octopus. An octopus swims slow, and then sometimes they stop. Sometimes they stop. And then, um, sometimes they stop, and then they start again. And then they stop. All right, so sometimes a crack and rest, and then we get back into it, and we swim like Kraken. Super fun. <laughs> Not quite sure how many times we have done this, but uh, it's always fun. All right, so we can come back down. Um, so we made it through the octopus uh, field, and now we um, are coming upon a bunch of giant sea crabs. So we're going to have to be giant sea crabs. So just in the same position you were in, you're just going to lift up your bottom, and you can walk around like giant sea crabs and try to avoid the other sea crabs in the room as you're walking around. Because, you know, sea crabs, they have big pinchers. I see one that's coming near me, so I'm trying to get away from the other sea crab. 
All right, then coming back to your spot on the floor, coming back down. Whew. We made it through the sea crabs. Now we're gonna have to swim through a field of sharks. So you're gonna come down onto your side and you're gonna stretch your legs out in front of you and your uh, fin's gonna go up here. And then you lift your shoulders and your legs up off the ground and hold here to swim like a shark. Sharks just kind of stay and wait until they see something they want to eat. So we want to be real quiet as we're swimming like a shark. And then you can put your hands and your arms down or your legs and your arms down. And then you can come back up again. Waiting, waiting, holding. All right, then we want to come back down. We want to switch to the other side. <coughs> the sharks swim both directions. And then on this side, so switching sides, lifting up your legs and your arms, waiting for the people to swim by. Hopefully they're super quiet as they're swimming by. And they'll get attacked by a shark. And then coming back down, taking a breath. And then one more time on this side, coming up. We're almost through the shark waters. And then coming back down. Nice job. All right. The last thing we have to swim through are the sea serpents. So we're going to come down to our belly. And we are going to be sea serpents. So our breath, when we're sea serpents, sounds like this. You breathe in. And as you breathe out, it sounds like this. Breathe in. Breathe in. One more breathe in. Nice job. All right. So we're going to push ourselves up. We made it through all of the obstacles we needed. We're going to come to a seated position and we are going to, there's a big X in front of us and we are going to dig for our treasure because this must be where the sea treasure is. So you're gonna bring your arm up and you're gonna dig and then you're gonna swing up from behind and dig right here in this spa, reaching out forward, digging for your treasure. It's pretty, pretty deep down there. They really wanted to hide it. Oh, we might be getting close. Might be getting close. A few more digs. How are you guys reaching yours? Oh, I think I reached mine. You guys reach yours? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna stretch really far forward and we're gonna pull our treasure chest out towards us. Are you guys ready to open your treasure chest? All right, here we go. Open up your treasure chest. Ooh, what's in your treasure chest? Coins. Ooh, what's in your treasure chest? Nothing. Nothing. Look again. There's got to be something in there. Legos. I see some Legos in there. All right. My treasure chest has a whole bunch of papers that, of things that I'm grateful for. Can you look again in your treasure chest and see if there's something in there? Maybe at the bottom that says something that you're grateful for. And then maybe we can all say what's on our piece of paper, the one thing we're grateful or thankful for. So I'm grateful on my piece of paper, it says I'm grateful for being able to teach family yoga every Saturday to you all. What does your piece of paper say? My piece of paper says I'm grateful for my family and being able to spend some time with them and get to know them better. Nice. What's your piece of paper say? My paper says I'm grateful for life. Nice, very cool. Can you all share at home what you what it says on your piece of paper if you haven't already? Please, you can share with your family one thing that you are grateful or thankful for. As we get ready to um, swim back to our sub. So once you finish saying what you are grateful for, and going around saying what you are grateful for, you're going to come back down onto your belly because we're going to swim back to our sub. <laughs> 
And this time we don't have to go through any obstacles. We're gonna go around them. So we're just gonna swim, just kind of casually lifting our legs up in the air and our shoulders up in the air, leaving our belly on the ground. And as we do this, we can breathe. So breathe in and out. In and out. See if you can match your swimming to your breath. So if your breath is slow, you can swim slow. And if your breath is fast, you can swim a little faster. See if you can match your swim to your breath. We're almost there. No worries. <clears throat> All right, coming back down. We're going to push back. <clears throat> And we're going to ascend to the shore. So we're on our hands and knees in tabletop. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring one knee forward. You choose the knee. One knee forward and come up so that we're just on one knee. And one knee is bent with our foot flat on the ground. From here, we're going to ascend to the shore. So we're going to lift our arms up, curl our back toe under, and we're going to rise up into a crescent lunge as we ascend up to shore. And we're gonna hold this here because it takes a little while for a submarine to ascend, which means to go up to the top where we can get off <clears throat> because our trip is done. So we're gonna wait while the sub ascends. And we're just gonna breathe here. And then the sub stops for a moment. So we're gonna bring our hands back down, bring our knee back down, and we're gonna switch sides. So bring your other foot forward, coming up onto one knee. We're gonna lift our arms up, curl our back toes under, we're gonna rise up into our crescent lunge on this side, and we're gonna ascend the rest of the way. So thinking about, as we're here, what our favorite part of our journey was. AJ, what was your favorite part of our journey today? Swimming. Swimming. Armando, what was your favorite part? Seeing all those cool creatures. You were seeing all the cool creatures? Yeah, my favorite part think, definitely was trying to be an octopus. <laughs> Being a big sea creature was pretty fun. All right, so we're gonna finally get to the shore. We're going to, you bring your hands to your hip and step your foot forward. All right. We're going to <clears throat> come back down. We're going to crawl to land because we're pretty tired, right? So we're going to one hand, uh, opposite hand, opposite leg out in front. Opposite hand, opposite leg, crawl to shore. Crawling to shore. And then when we get to shore, we're gonna climb aboard a nice big rock. So you're gonna separate your knees a little bit. Your back toe, your big toes are gonna touch behind you. You're gonna move your bottom back towards your heels. See if you can bring your forehead to the mat, even if your bottom has to come up a little bit. And then you're gonna rest your arms down by, so that your hands are by your feet. And this is rock pose, and we are just going to rest here for, let's do four or five breath counts, trying to bring our breath and our energy back down. Just holding here for a moment. Thinking about all the fun things we've done on our adventure, or maybe even all the things that we found in our treasure chest, including all the things we're grateful for or thankful for in our lives right now. And then if you'd like, you can stay here for your yoga nap, or you can find your way onto your back with your legs stretched out and your arms at your side. And we are just gonna take a quick yoga nap here to allow our body to rest, 
and recover from our big journey. And so what you can do here is you can just listen to your breathing if that feels comfortable. And you can think about one person in your life that you are really thankful for. One person in your life right now that you are grateful for. Or maybe there's more than one, but pick one or two. And just really concentrate on how it feels to be with that person. Maybe that person's in the room right now. Maybe they're somewhere far away, and that's okay. But we're just gonna relax here and either think about a breath or about someone that we're really thinking. And I will let you know when the time is up. So you can just relax here in your yoga nap on your own for a few moments. And then when you're ready, you can start to move your body just a little bit. Maybe start with your feet and move your feet or move your hands. Move your head from side to side. Take a few deep breaths. Getting yourself ready to sit up and end my yoga, the family yoga for today. You can roll over to one side. Push yourself up to a seated position. And I really enjoyed teaching this to you all, and I'm super excited that you all came, and I'm grateful for you all and for yoga. So for that, I say, I, I see and I honor all of you, and I close this session with a namaste. Namaste. See you next time. <laughs>